Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Rob. Thanks for tuning in to the Rob's Knowledge YouTube channel. And today we're gonna be showing you guys how to refill the McCormick peppercorn grinders. Now these are meant to be uh, disposable, but I actually don't like to do this because this is glass. Um, glass doesn't break down forever in a landfill. Uh, it takes a very, very long time. So um, if we can, we're gonna reuse this and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So I see a lot of people online cutting this open, cutting the red piece out, doing all kinds of weird stuff to get this top off because it does just turn in place obviously so the grinder can function properly. But you don't need to cut anything. You don't need to take out this red piece. All you need to do is simply pull the top off. It just takes a little bit of finessing sometimes. Now. Sometimes the motion of taking this off can make all the stuff on the inside fly out. So I wouldn't do this until this is empty or just about empty. Here we have pretty much just a few little things left. So if it flies out, it's okay. I just want to make this video refilling it. But all you need to do is this cap just pulls off. Okay, now there is a little bit of a trick. First of all, if you can't seem to get it after this method, you can try running this under warm water for a while to kind of soften the plastic a little bit and that will help. Or some people, uh, you could probably use like a, a, uh, a hair dryer. But regardless, you're just going to separate the cap from the glass. And if you're strong enough, you can probably pull it straight off. But most people can't do that. So what you can do is almost like you're trying to break it, trying to snap it in half. Where the pivot point is going to be obviously where this meets. But you're just going to bend one of them like so. So you're going to want to try to bend this one at the base while also pulling out this way. So you're going to come out this way and bend like that and that should allow the cap to come off. And I'm gonna try to get this as good as I can in the camera without uh, flinging pepper corns everywhere. So grab firmly on one end, firmly on the other, pull apart and push it out. And of course my hands are getting a little sweaty. pull it against my body a little bit yeah see I can see it's getting a little you can see it's off tilt, tilted a little bit so it's a, it's close and it's close it's coming off right now yeah you can see it's more tilted and you just gotta keep bending it and yeah, see a lot of the pepper came out but we have the cap off the most important part so now all is left to do is just refill it I'm just gonna dump these little ones out of here real quick. And we're just gonna go ahead and refill this with a, just a peppercorn. You can get these from your grocery store or if you can't find them or you want a bigger container, I will put some links down to Amazon down below. That's where I actually got mine off of. I order a lot of stuff off of Amazon. So we're just gonna open these up. Just use, put these in here. And just fill this baby on up. I wouldn't fill it up to the very brim. That way you have the room to put the top on. Well, like I just did. Being stupid. So, dump a little bit of these out. But regardless, I can just put those in in a day or so. I use a lot of pepper. so. And then all you do is just press the cap back on. And you can push the cap straight back on. You don't have to do any kind of weird angles, really. It just takes a little bit sometimes. Put it between your hands and snap it back on. And... As you can see, we're all good to go. The adjustment dial still works because we didn't cut this off like some other video show you how to do. We got big flakes, we got small flakes, but most importantly of all, we recycled this glass and didn't throw it in a landfill right away. Even if you only get one extra use out of this, you're still recycling, you're still one less glass that you're gonna go out and buy. And after you're done with this, go ahead and go out and buy a permanent pepper mill. I'll post some of my favorite ones from Amazon down below. There's all kinds of cool ones. There's thumb press ones. You know, if you're gonna use a pepper grinder get a permanent one so you're not sitting here buying disposable ones and just throwing all kinds of glass in landfills that's it for today guys i'm gonna stop ranting i uh, hope you learned something hope you got your pepper mill filled up uh, this also does work for the salt mills but i'll post a separate video on that as i have one of those um, until next time guys slap the like button if to help you out until next time peace out